Hi, I'm Laura from Black Aura Cosplay, and this is my tutorial for my Akatsuki clan cloak for my Conan cosplay from Naruto. Items that I used is one and a half yards of bull drill, two yards of red synthetic suede, three or more yards of white bias tape, and one long red zipper that you would typically use for jackets or coats. You want it to be able to separate and go back together. Um, you can use whatever you really have available to you, but these are the items that I use. So we're gonna start with the shell of the cloak. We're gonna iron out all of our fabric and we'll place our pattern where the folds are along the fold lines of the pattern and ensure that our grain lines are all vertical and facing the same direction for all of our pieces. We're gonna cut two pieces of the bull drill for the collar to make it nice and stiff so it'll hold its shape. And then we're gonna cut the sleeves and minding our folds and our grain lines. This is what the front panel looks like after it's been cut out and unfolded. And now we can begin pinning the darts, these little slits in the front. So I chose the bull drill because it was heavy and it was durable and I you know, figured it would hold its shape really well, especially for the collar because I wanted it to stand up. And you know, I kind of wanted something that would you know, be strong enough to endure elements in case I wanted to you know, be crazy and wear it every single day but um, I, I think it's a good choice. This is where we start piecing things together. Um, we're gonna begin pinning the shoulder sections from the front panel and the back panel. Here you can't see it, but I've pressed the seam allowance in opposite directions, kind of like mimicking a French seam, but not really. This step isn't necessary, but for me, it adds detail and it strengthens the stitch. This is like in a section where a lot of the weight of the cloak is really gonna be on, and it's on the shoulders. And so it really needs something secure to hang on to and just, you know, make it look pretty. After you've secured your shoulders, you're gonna wanna add your sleeves. I forgot to shoot this part of the outer shell, but it's okay because later on in the video, you'll see me do this with the liner. Once you've attached the sleeves to the shoulders, you're going to sew the sleeves shut, and then you're going to sew the seams along the sides shut as well. Here, this is where you'll put your collar pieces together, two pieces of black fabric with one piece of red. And again, I didn't shoot this, but once you've sewn it, you turn it right side out, press it, and then make a, a securing seam around the edges. And it'll look like this when you're done, but then you're gonna attach it to the neck of the shell and you're gonna to wanna to take your time and make sure that it's all aligned where you're gonna have your zipper at according to the clam member that you're cosplaying. The fabric's very thick here, and you know, while you're sewing this, you wanna, you know, again, take your time, go slow, and walk your fabric through the machine. I broke a needle on this part being hasty, so you know, take your time. And now we're marking off where our zipper line needs to be. I noticed that the Akatsuki, it's in different places on each character. And you can see here on Conan, hers is slightly offset. And so I made my pattern to be accommodating to each character. It You put the zipper in after you know, you've cut everything out. 
And we're going to finish up the shell by adding a hemline. And now time for the decoration. I did this part before adding the lining so that I could hide my embroidery marks and I'm telling you it's really worth it. I added stabilizing fabric to hold the piece in place while sewing, uh, you know, as well as to prevent bubbling between the fabrics, you know, but again, it's not a necessary step, but it just makes the sewing that you're going to be doing so much easier and it's going to make it have lasting, beautiful results. I did a single stitch around the decoration, um, just red on top, black bobbin. Um, you know, this part, it doesn't have to be beautiful because you're gonna cover up all those stitches, but it, it's nice to secure it before you add your embellishing. Now add your bias tape. Here I attempted folding it as I had done for you know my accent pieces on rem, but it didn't work out for this project and I had to you know redo the whole pinning process with the bias tape and had it open flat. And I used this shot anyway to kind of give you an idea of the what ifs and you know who knows maybe you like the thinner you know white lines better. Um, but for me, I preferred the bold white lines. For sewing the bias tape, I used a white top stitch and again a black bobbin. I sewn two lines, one on the outer edge of the bias tape and then one on the inner edge. This part is literally the most time consuming part, but it's worth taking your time and going slow. There's a lot of slow process to this project, but just take your time and it will just reflect on how much time you've taken on it. Now we're on to the lining. We're halfway done. Here we're just gonna repeat the steps from the shell, but we're gonna make sure that we mirror image our patterns so that it can be outward facing opposite to what the shell would be. You're just gonna check your folds and make sure that you got your pattern lined up and you're gonna cut her out. Here you can kind of see where my pattern doesn't go all the way to the fold line. Do not cut right there. Just leave it, uh, leave the fold there. I left it and I just took a little bit in on my darts and my sides. It makes it way easier. And like before, we're going to begin pinning our darts. And now pinning the shoulders to bring the front panel and the back panel together. I chose suede because it was the fabric available for the color that I wanted. You can choose whatever works for you and you know fits your needs and your budget. Um, but this is what was available to me, you know, and kind of fit my needs. And you can use whatever's available to you. And you know that might be a bed sheet. You know, there's nothing wrong with 
you know, reusing fabric. A lot of my beginning costumes that I made, you know, that's what they were. They were reused fabric, so you can use anything to do, achieve this. You know, it's just about how much time and effort you put into it. Here you get the visual of me pinning the sleeves to the panels with them open. And now we're gonna start sewing up our sleeves. Here I added a panel to the ribs for under the armpit to widen the bust some. I did this to both the shell and the lining. And now it's time to bring it all together. Align the seams along the sleeves and attach them by pinning them and then sew them together. Now we turn it right side out and press the seams. Pressing before stitching is not a necessary step, but it makes it, makes it look so clean and so professionally done.
And now we're gonna attach the neck of the liner to the collar of the shell. Again, take some caution while sewing here. It's really, really thick fabric. And to give this a nice clean finished edge, I used a red bias tape and folded it over the unfinished edge. As we did with the shell, we're going to hem the lining. And now we're gonna lay our piece flat and straighten it out, make it sure it's even, and then we're gonna cut for the zipper line along the lining. All right, we're in the home stretch now, and we're adding the zipper, the final step. do two stitches for my zippers one to bring the fabric and the zipper together and then I do a stitch to secure it and this makes the bond stronger because there's gonna be a lot of tug and pull on this area and it also gives it a nice clean look On my secure stitch, I change out my top thread. Um, I do this when I get to the decoration part and um, that way it kind of has an invisible look. Thank you for watching and I hope that this was a helpful tool for you to achieve your cosplay goals. Leave us some comments and let us know if it was helpful for you and if it wasn't helpful for you. And maybe some comments on some, you know, content that you would like to see me produce. And also, you know, give it a like and share it with your buddies.
get to freaking cut this up. I hate cutting. Can't uncut. But anyway, here we are. Cutting. I'm terrified. Here we go. We got this. Bobbin. <laughs> 